So we wrote our first Hello World program, and now we want to clear this information off the screen. Uh, it's getting a bit messy. So to do that, we can go to Edit, and now we can click Clear Screen, or you can use the keyboard shortcut Control S. It's up to you. So Clear Screen, and then we're going to go back to VS Code. So in VS Code, we initially printed Hello World. And now let's suppose we want to print two things, right? Well, we can do that. We can hit Enter. And underneath, we can write another print function. So put string ln. Remember, you can push tab to autocomplete. And we can print hello, Anna. And then we can file, save. And let's talk about how this runs, right? So the computer will read this program from top to bottom. So it's going to read put string ln, hello world first. And then it's going to read put string ln, hello, Anna. So when it prints it, it should print hello world and then hello Anna. So let's try that. We saved it, right? Make sure you saved it. Go to your WinGHCI file, and we're going to this, click this green button, and the green button says reload files. We already have our hello world, or our hello.hs loaded, so we want to reload that. And you're going to see it says, okay, one module loaded. Now we're going to click our red button to evaluate, remember everything inside of this main equals do. So it's going to run everything underneath it. And you're going to see it prints Hello World and Hello Anna. Let's do one more example of that. So now let's suppose we want to print three things, right? It's the same concept. Put string ln, Hello Elsa. And we can save that. And remember, it prints from top to bottom. So it's going to go Hello World, Hello Anna and then hello Elsa, and it goes from top to bottom for everything inside of this main equals do function. We'll get to what functions are in a bit, but let's say everything underneath this main equals do that's indented here, it's going to print in order. So make sure you save it again, and then let's head back to our win GHCI. We're going to click the reload button, and then we're going to here run our main program or main expression. So click the red button and you're going to see an order it prints hello world, hello Anna, and hello Elsa. All right, so let's clear that with edit, clear screen, and then head back to VS Code. So let's use what we know now with printing multiple lines to be able to print a very large word and we're going to print the word hi. So to do that, let's make all these empty. Remember, everything you're printing needs to go inside of these double quotes, right? And we're going to print a very large word high. And to do that, we're going to kind of use a little bit of art here, little art skills, maybe like this, to get the H, add some spaces, two more spaces, and then I'm going to add the letter I. Okay, so this will still print from top to bottom. It'll print this line first, and then this line, and then the third line, and it's going to look like it's one gigantic uh, word high. So we can do Control S to save it. Head over to our Win GHCI, and we're going to reload it, and then we're going to run it, evaluate it with this red button. And you're going to see it prints in a very large letters high, right? So let's go on to the next thing. All right, so let's go ahead and clear this and head back to VS Code. So Control-S to clear, and let's head back.